Hello everyone and welcome to everything about Kurdistan. Today we will talk about the Zaza Kurds. If you have missed our previous videos about different types of Kurds, you will see the links to those videos on top of the screen right now. Don't miss out on them too. Now, if you are a huge fan of Kurdish food, you should check out this Instagram account right here called Kurdish Eats. They regularly share amazing Kurdish dishes and I really recommend you to check them out and of course follow them. The link to their Instagram channel will be provided in the description box below. Now if you would like to get a shout out for your own social media just as we did with Kurdish Eats, make sure to contact us by sending a message either by mail or through Instagram. Check out the description box below for more information and don't forget to follow everything about Kurdistan on Instagram for amazing Kurdish pictures and daily updates about this channel. Now we've been talking too much, let's get straight into the video. The Zaza group is a Kurdish minority of approximately 4 to 5 million people. They mainly live in areas like Dersim, Shaulig, Elaziz and Ahmed areas within northern Kurdistan which is occupied by Turkey. They speak a very ancient dialect of Kurdish which is called Zaza or Zazaki. The dialect is within the branch of Zaza Gorani in the Kurdish language. Check out our other video regarding the Kurdish dialects by clicking on this link right here. The root of the Zaza Kurds are disputed, while some say that they originate from northern part of modern Iran, arguing for a separation of the connection between Zazas and the Kurds, other claim and have been able to prove that the Zazas has the same genetical pattern as other Kurdish groups. Something that even confirmed this is that Armenians called them Zazakider, which means Zaza Kurds. Zaza Kurds has lived alongside other Kurdish groups for centuries in Anatolia. In the 20s and the 30s, the Zazas played a key role in the rise of Kurdish nationalism as they conducted and led several rebellions against the Ottoman Empire and also the upcoming nation of Turkey. Firstly in the Kuchgiri rebellion in 1921, where about 800 people from both sides died. Later on, Sheikh Said Azaza Kurd established a resistance against the newly formed Turkish state due to its nationalistic and secular ideology. This resistance, which started in 1925, was based on religious grounds where the aim was to form an Islamic caliphate based on Kurdish nationalism. Eventually, the Zaza Kurds would lose against the Turks and for the first time after the creation of Turkey, the Zaza Kurds were massacred with between 20 to 50,000 people killed, depending on which side you ask. The Zaza Kurds were defeated, but they didn't really give up just there. In 1937, another Kurd of Zaza background formed a new rebellion. The name of this rebellion would become the Der Sim Rebellion, and it was named after the tragic aftermath where over 100,000 civilians were massacred and over 20,000 Alevi Kurds fled the country, many moving to Europe. Many years later, when PKK was formed in 1978, one of the founders was of Zaza origin. Her name was Sakine Chansiz, and after her, many other Zazas joined the PKK rebellion. The very famous icon within the PKK, Maslum Dogan, was also of Zaza Kurdish background. Now if you would like a video about Sakine and Maslum, be sure to hit the like button to this video and also don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Link to everything will be in the description box below. Now just two years later in 1980, Turkey was shaken by the conflicts between very far left and very far right in politics, leading to the 1980 Turkish coup and power taking by the Turkish military. Over 500,000 people was arrested and it is reported that this, beside from the two previous genocides, is the third major time as Zaza Kurds actively migrated away from their homes. These three migrations have led to the case that one may find a lot of Zaza Kurds in Europe with about a half million people living only in Germany. Today, the Zaza dialect of the Kurdish language is considered an endangered language due to the persecution from the Turkish state. 
lack of learning, documentation, and active assimilation has been the major factors for this case. When Kurdish overall was forbidden in Turkey, the Zaza minority was especially targeted as their cultural identity now were at stake. This has even led to the case that the youngest generations today hardly speak Zaza Kurdish anymore. However, the Zaza people still fight in what they believe, something that we easily can see as we look at modern Turkish politics, not at least Selahattin Demirtas himself, a Zaza Kurd which among many many colleagues within the HDP such as Aysel Tugluk, Ayla Akat Atta and Gultan Kishanak, all within the HDP are iconic members of the Zaza Kurdish community. On the other hand, we also have Zaza Kurds who deny their Kurdish connections. They do that for different reasons and they are a very small minority within the Zaza community. One example is Hussein Aygun, another Zaza politician. Hussein Aygun was in 2016 kidnapped by PKK soldiers on his way home. However, he was released two days later unarmed. In his first statement, he said that he was in good health and that he had been treated with respect. He called the kidnappers for children of this country and said that they, the PKK, wanted to send a message to call for a ceasefire. However, this statement created controversy within the CHP party of his and Hussein was accused for approaching a terror organization with sympathy. And that's it for this video. For more information about PKK and their struggle against Turkey, check out these two links and as usual, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and check out our website everythingaboutkurdistan.com as well as follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All links will be provided in the description box below.